Hey everybody, welcome to this special Bay Area Life. We've got a great show ahead for you and it has an island theme. We'll take a look back at a recent trip we took to the islands, but first let's check out Disney Animation's newest movie, Moana. For generations, this peaceful island has been home to our family. Every fall, the Leukemia Lymphoma Society takes steps to cure blood cancers through their annual Light the Night Walks. This year here in San Jose, the Earthquakes are the host sponsor and Avaya Stadium is the new venue for the Silicon Valley Light the Night Walk. I've seen they've done walks at stadiums before and I kind of started pushing them, hey, do you want to try to do it at Avaya? We could host a really cool walk here, especially as we develop this area and we can do something unique that hasn't been done before. The San Jose Earthquakes are teaming up with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for the Silicon Valley Light the Night Walk fundraiser. Next stop, the mighty Pacific. The waters off of Maui are home to some of the most unique and colorful marine life, and there's a whole other world to explore. Let's dive in. We're at Molokini Crater, which is a marine preserve. It is about uh, 100 to 120 feet of visibility year-round, and having uh, that kind of visibility, about 700 species of fish, 30% of which are only found in Hawaii's waters, uh, is really unique, and the coral is very unique also. This is one of the top 10 dives in the world. Here we have Snuba cruising along right here, and this is a really awesome underwater activity that helps uh, you can segue from snorkeling to discovering the underwater world uh, very easily. Mm -hmm. Without the tank on your back, we put the tank in the raft right there. And a fun feature at this winery is they have oysters on the weekend. Here you go, dear. Okay, here we go. Good for them. The earthquake risk is real in California, and all Bay Area communities face the risk of damages from a quake. Being prepared and protecting your property is vital, because it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. The Bay Area is known for its gorgeous hills and valleys, rugged coastline, and its scenic views. Unique natural beauty created by the constant forces moving under our feet, earthquakes. Just about everyone who lives anywhere in the Bay Area lives somewhere within uh, probably 10 miles of an active earthquake fault. So it may not be that the fault closest to you produces the next earthquake, but if a large earthquake occurs on any of the Bay Area faults, we're likely to feel it anywhere in the Bay Area. If an earthquake occurs over here... Keith Knudsen is the deputy director of the Earthquake Science Center for the USGS. His job is to monitor, research, and assess the likelihood of earthquakes. In California, the Earth's crust is riddled with these faults, and we think we know where most of them are. We have them identified here in the Bay Area pretty well, and we think we know how often earthquakes occur on the different faults. There's roughly a two in three chance that there will be a large earthquake, a magnitude 6.7 or larger, here in the Bay Area in the next 30 years. In the past three decades, the Bay Area has experienced two memorable quakes. Just two years ago in August 2014, a damaging magnitude 6.0 South Napa quake. And before that, a devastating 15 seconds of shaking at magnitude 6.9 in the October 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. From this tropical paradise, thanks to the Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau, we're about to meet some Maui Mavericks, this island's next generation of ambassadors. They'll offer us an insider's look at how Maui can captivate your soul. From romantic beaches to abundant farms, underwater journeys, and extraordinary culinary adventures, there's so much to see. We always want to focus on the positive values, not the negative. You know, my mom and my grandma saying, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Uh, that was what the Hawaiian culture, in a sense, is based on, is that we want to focus everything in the positive. That is why the word aloha has reached beyond our shores, is a global word now, and is known by anyone, whether or not they've even been to Hawaii. 
mahalo, which we think of as thanks, but is really about respect and gratitude for fellow human beings. And the word ho'okipa, which means hospitality. We think of those concepts and those values, they, they pervade all life here. Maui is, it's got everything, uh, ranging from high alpine desert to full on tropical rainforest. A lot of people think of Maui and they might think of just beaches and coconut trees and beautiful weather, which we do have, but there's also so much more. You'll be driving through upcountry Kula where I grew up and you feel like you're in Italy or maybe the hills of Northern California. It's full of grass, it's green, and it's just beautiful, it's so different. In about a 10 minute drive, you can go from a rainforest to a beautiful sandy beach around the corner. My Maui is agriculture, it's farming, it's vineyards, it's upcountry, and people need to see that. Maui's a healing place, combined with the Aloha experience, uh, the Aloha Island attitude and uh, the unique culture. There's no place else like it in the world. You can taste the juiciness, the succulency of the fresh mango that you get in the summertime. You can taste the earthiness of the taro, the sweetness of the taro when we get the when you pound our own poi. Um, our cool little pig, we just get the fat and the, the richness and just love, I guess. Because every time I eat cool little pig, I smile because of the rich, the fat. I like to know that they get to taste Maui, that this came from the ground of Maui, and that we put all our effort in trying to make you go away and remember Maui, or remember our community, and just remember that we're very passionate about what we do here in Maui about our food. It's a blessing, it's an honor. I'm very lucky and fortunate, all of us that live here, to be able to know that we're gonna have the rain to grow our crops, that we're gonna have the sun to grow our crops, that we got the waters are, that have the fish for us to eat, and the, and the pua, the pig running in the, in the mountains. You know, we're, we're, we're gonna, you know, we eat well. Houses that lack adequate bolting and bracing could face some serious damage in the event of a major earthquake. And older homes, especially those built before 1950, are prime candidates for a seismic retrofit. Before 1979, there really weren't any seismic building codes enacted throughout the state for single family residences. So if people have older homes, they really might have a vulnerability that they can retrofit. Particularly pre-1950 houses are typically not anchored to their foundation. Even newer homes, um, particularly homes that have uh, rooms or living space over the garage, basically anytime you take a wall out of a house, you've taken out the element that's gonna resist earthquake forces. So the work that we do at the CEA on, in regards to mitigation is to really be an advocate for the California homeowner. We're trying to provide more guidelines, more codes for homeowners to use. We're also doing research so that we can tell people when you retrofit your home, this is the kind of financial savings that you're going to see after an earthquake. Another thing that we're going to get is opihi. You can just kind of scrape it up and... Okay. And there it is. And there it is. Wow. Wanna try it? Raw? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. It's kind of good. Yeah. Days are upon us and so is the cheer and one way to bring in the festivities is with a must-see classic like Irving Berlin's White Christmas. Well I'm here at SHN Golden Gate Theatre and I'll be talking with two of the lead performers to find out how they make the magic come alive for their performances and the holidays. <laughs> I'm here with two of the lead performers. We have Carrie and Sean. Hi, how are you? Hi. So, guys, tell me about this wonderful show. Well, uh, White Christmas, the musical, is based on uh, the famous film uh, of the same name, Irving Berlin's Songs and uh, fantastic choreography. And it's the same story that you'll see uh, if, you, if you know the movie, if you're a fan of the movie. Just a couple of tweaks to, to you know, really uh, fill out the story and added a couple characters and added some bigger dance numbers. Thank you. 